Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Forsyth, Missouri with a brand spanking new frauditor. In fact, her channel is less than a month old and she has only three videos at the time I'm making this video myself. At any rate, she uh, finds herself trying, wanting to audit the local courthouse only to find herself getting uh trespassed and arrested for her for her inability to uh use the thinking uh thing in your head and uh actually formulating a uh independent thought uh, other than what the frauditors have been feeding her so yeah she's that damn stupid she just parrots everything that the frauditors say so let's go ahead and sit back relax and enjoy the show Came in the back door, so there's no officer. Yeah, isn't that cheating though? But hey, what am I talking about? This is a frauditor we're talking about here. They're all looking for that uh, cheat code in life, and uh, well, you found it at this point by going in through the back entrance, where it's not exactly as secure as the front. I mean, who could have figured that? Fifteen minutes later. Hello. Hi. Just checking out your public library here, your public lobby. What? We're just checking out your public lobby right here. Got some chairs. You guys actually make the maps of the area? No. You sound rather shocked that a place like this would want to make maps for the local area. I mean, road maps, topography maps, all sorts of other styles of maps. It might be a thing that would be useful to a uh, courthouse, wouldn't you think? But of course, who am I? I don't know anything. You're the frauditor. You're the supposed to be the genius. You're the one who's supposed to know everything. Oh, wait. I got that all wrong. No, you're not. What do you do here? Um, property lines and transfer ownership. Do you see the sign on the door? I do, but it's an unconstitutional sign, so... It's a non-constitutional sign. It's an unconstitutional it's sign. It is. So this is open to the public. A hey, frauditor, uh, first of all, you really should look up uh, Cordova versus the United States. Uh, then you should really look into the uh, public forum doctrine. And then you should go to the uh, Missouri media policy portion of the judicial website and see that media coverage is pretty much prohibited in all courthouses unless the judge permits it, you dumbass. For, and for very good reason. Like I've said in the past, for, well, attorney-client privilege, jury uh, issues, and a whole host of other issues. So you might want to reconsider this before you get arrested. Oh, wait a minute. You're too stupid for uh, reconsideration. And, uh, well, spoiler alert, you end up getting arrested. Well, if you do, it's record. It's public record because you're at work. You're a public employee. So I could request a copy of the recording. But, yeah, you could record me. I'm not have a problem with that. If you don't mind us for your requesting the record. Why would I have to send it to me? I don't need you to send it to me. It would just be required that you be able to produce it. It's just a camera. No reason to freak out. Well, I just don't... Well, she walks around for a while longer and ends up coming upon a closed door uh, that pretty much has a sign saying no filming on it. And guess what? Uh, to a frauditor, that's a target. So she goes right on in and, uh, well, stirs up more trouble. So let's carry on, shall we? A little longer than a few minutes later. So the treasurer thinks that uh, she can't be video recorded at work. Shall we go educate her as well? Or them? Let us do that. Hello. 
Um, you can't video in here. This is the treasurer's office. Right, and it uh, is open to the public, so... But you can't video in here. You can turn them off and be in here, but we can't have you video That's in not well true. Before. I'm sorry. If I can please ask you to leave. I'm not off your videos. going to leave. I'm not going to leave. This is public building. It's, it's public, but you cannot video in here. That's not true. That no a sign that's unconstitutional. If that sign were unconstitutional, then, uh... Chris Cordova would have uh, won that case. But guess what? He didn't win that case. The sign is constitutional, and uh, you're about to be arrested for being a complete moron. So your policy doesn't trump the Constitution. Please have you leave. No. So, this is the treasurer's office. Penny County Vault. Can you please Safe head out? Luck. This is the treasury where we keep money. We don't want people in here with cameras. I am not leaving. I would have already been gone if you had not hey, a ladies, problem. Since there's sensitive tax information in here, do that's you mind not how it works. There's sensitive tax information. In it's the not. Do you mind leaving? It's not my responsibility to. I understand that. Cover it. It's unconstitutional. But a sign on the door. Your sign is unconstitutional. Okay, ma'am. I'm not going to leave. I don't leave. want to argue constitutional law with you. I'm just simply asking if you can respect the no, privacy of the because they're not reality. respecting my right, my First Amendment right to record in public. Well, actually, you're in a courthouse and you don't actually have a. Actually, you, you don't do. have. No, you don't actually. Yes, you do. Okay, which one? The First Amendment. I am an independent well, journalist. Yes, I understand that. And I'm gathering content for a story. I understand. So I'm in the public areas of the building, and I can record whatever it, I can see from public. It has public ingress, but it's still a private office. This is not a private office. It's paid for by tax dollars. Yes. Her salary is paid for by with, tax dollars. Which is the entity of Taney County, which is its own governing body. Which is paid for by tax dollars. Yes, but it still can be a no. private entity. No. You might want to call a supervisor because that's not right. I want to speak to your... And who says it's not right? You? Uh, no, that's not how it works. You are in the treasurer's office, which is supposed to be a secure location because, well, monetary issues, including taxes, as they just said, and they can't do their work when there's some moron like you trying to interfere in it. Oh, yeah, and thank you for filming your, uh, crimes and stupidity because it makes it so much easier for it to be used against you in a court of law. I mean, like I said before, just ask Christopher Cordova when his own videos were used against him. I mean, how stupid do you have to be? Okay, I can get you one over if you want, but until you then, can. I'm going to have you leave this office. You can ask, but I'm not going to. Okay. Are you going to illegally detain me? You aren't being detained. No. Okay. Because I'm not going to leave. Want to be detained? No, not unless you want to violate my rights. No, I don't want to violate your rights. Okay. She seems five, to two, want five, to. Zero. Both of you seem to want to. We've been in every I'm office the treasurer. and recorded it literally. We were there for two minutes. The other girl said the same thing. I told her it's unconstitutional. I, we're just filming your office. I, I understand that. And we walked out. I understand that. And I'm, I'm not, not saying... There is nothing in here that I'm recording. I'm not, oh, I'm going to record your desk. So, it's not my responsibility to hide the public's information that she doesn't want me to see. That's your responsibility to create privacy in public. Okay. Once again, this is not a public forum. This is a non-public forum. And second of all, they are creating the privacy by keeping the morons like you out. You've this asked is for a, a public office. I think you've asked for a supervisor. I have one coming. That's fine. If you want to prolong us being here, that's fine. Fine, me. You asked for one, I'll get you Okay. One. So, instead of being done right now, we're going to have to stay here and wait for a supervisor. Because, officer, what's your name? My name is Deputy Randall Bowden. My badge number is 152. Okay. Doesn't know Constitution. Sorry to say. You're the only one, but... It's all right. I love your flag. I'm sorry that you don't love freedom. Cool. Uh, she, of course, is <clears throat> a 
Right. I came in here. I've been filming the whole courthouse. I'm an independent journalist. I'm working on a story. Okay. And I've filmed the whole place, even where there's signs that are unconstitutional that say no photos or videos. Well, but you understand that the elected officials have the right to control their office. That's not true. Okay. Well, this is a public building. I'm not going to leave unless you're going to threaten to arrest me. Are you going to violate well, my rights? Okay. If you if you're in an office and this office holder does not want you here and ask you to leave, that's an that's unconstitutional that's a request. What's the crime? Let me find the office holder. What's the crime? You don't need a crime for trespassing in uh, the state of Missouri. All you got to do is get asked to leave the property. And you were asked several times because you are a security risk in that place because you refuse to leave a secure area where there's sensitive information and money at. Money that could potentially be uh, stolen by you because, well, people have done stupid things like that in the past. So it's understandable that they'd want to get rid of you. My goodness, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure this crap out. I mean, so you must be on the other end of the spectrum as far as intelligence goes. You're a real gomer, aren't you? What crime? Passing, sweetheart. You have to have a crime first. If you're asked to leave a property and you refuse to leave that property, that is a crime of trespass, first or second degree. Not if you're violating my rights, asking me to leave. Can you get a hold of Melanie? See, we'll see what she wants to do. I would have already she's been not here. gone. Okay, what would you like to do since you're in this office? I asked them to leave. Okay. So, Ladies, it's posted. Go ahead and leave. Christina Strope. I'm yes. asking you to leave. And I'm he was under arrest for trespass. Oh, leave. what's your name and badge number? Sergeant Michael Carter, badge number 150. Under need to threat leave. of arrest. You need to leave. Don't touch me. Okay, turn and put your hands behind the back. All right. Man, put your phone down leave. so we don't break it. Yeah, I'm willing to leave. Yes. Okay. 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 Oh, boy. I think this is the first time. And no, it doesn't really sound like this is your first rodeo. And so let's go ahead and enjoy your walk of shame. I know you won't enjoy it, but that doesn't mean we can't. Gee, for auditor, maybe you should go out and study public forum doctrine. Maybe you should go out and study what uh, uh, is actually constitutional. Maybe you should actually go out and uh, look up the, uh, well, what the judges have to say on all this. Maybe you should uh, actually do more research. Maybe you should actually go to the Missouri uh, courthouse websites and actually uh, look into what the, the judges have posted on there about it. And maybe then you'll get yourself educated. But I really doubt it, considering that you seem to have a, well, rather big problem with that. You seem to be getting off to a bad start in life as far as, well, your overall mental capacity goes. So good luck with that. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?